No wonder depression fuels addiction, eh? Morning, guys. As a follow-up to my series on the cycle of depression, I just wanted to jump on quickly to point out to the many people I speak to online regarding where they are at, that their emotional health is most often the cause of their addictive behaviour. Sure, there is often trauma behind it. Um, that trauma led to depression, which in turn led to their looking for an escape. Considering that the downward spiral into depression consists of depressive thinking, uh, constant rumination, fewer pleasant experiences, and impaired basic needs, it's no wonder we turn to our artificial means to feel better, or at least to numb the pain. Problem is though, alcohol itself is a depressant. You may feel good after a couple, but thanks to our autonomic nervous system trying to keep us safe and the chemicals released to counter the high resulting anxiety, moodiness, etc. <clears throat> then we feel guilty, ashamed, a failure even, which of course all feeds into the, into the depressive thinking, the ruminating, the poor sleep, waking up exhausted lacking motivation, then turning to our crutch, alcohol or whatever it may be, and around and around we go. So to put it simply, resorting to a coping mechanism only makes the depression worse. If you are ready to break the cycle with proven effective interventions, book a call today. Or you could keep doing what you are doing and expect a different outcome. Cheers guys, till next time.